then I realized there was all of this conflicting advice on how to develop your career. Hmm. Somebody would say, oh, you should apply online. Other people should say you should network. Other people would say, oh, you should tap into your connections. But I didn't have any connections to tap into. So I wasn't sure how to make it happen and make it a reality for myself. But I did start to see patterns in what some people were saying. Mm -hmm. I started to see patterns in adding value, solving problems. But when I first started, those words were so abstract. Like, I don't know what that means to add value to an organization. I don't know what that means to solve a problem. How do I find the problems that they want to solve? How do I go and speak to an employer or hiring manager and figure that out? So. I built out a system to build out a career that aligns with who I am, because one of the things that I started to realize during that process was I had a really deep fear of being stuck in a dead end nine to five job in Canada, not knowing how to make it work, not knowing how to pull the pieces together, being terrified of being stuck paying off tuition debt, being stuck never being able to afford to visit my family and not knowing how to build out that good career that we're all promised after we put in all of this hard work and education. So the next thing that I did was I took my response rate from a 0% response rate to a 70% response rate. So wow. I, from <laughs> a 0% response rate to over 100 job applications to a 70% response rate to 10 job applications. So I landed a job that I loved in uh, a field that I loved, in the city that I wanted, in the field that I wanted, um, in the exact company that I wanted to work in, but not the like perfect department, but it was all very close, making more money than I had targeted. 